What's a sexual fetish you've wanted to try but never had the courage to? Story 1. I like the idea of being asleep and taken but with consent obviously. Think I'm just lazy. Story 2. Pretend like my significant other and I are complete strangers. Meet out at a bar, keep the bit up from there, and get home and f a stranger who is actually someone I've been with for five plus years. Edit. Not sure how this turned into a convo ad cheating when it's quite literally my fiance. The rise I personally get out of this situation is picking up the most gorgeous girl I've ever seen again. If I wanted to cheat, I would simply break up because I'm a person with morals and understanding for another human with emotions. Story 3. I want to be forced into a giving a against my will while been restrained. Story 4. I've always wanted to be tied down and have a girl do whatever she wants within reason, like kiss, lick, and caress all up my body. Story 5. F***s on a boat. I've always wanted to bang on a boat. I need to get a boat first. Story 6. I've wanted to do it with multiple people, but I don't like having s*** with strangers and I also don't think I'd be able to see any friends the same after s***. Story 7. Erotic hypnosis. The idea of voluntarily giving up control fascinates me. Granted, I would likely have to be incredibly comfortable around the person to feel comfortable doing it because I have trust issues, but still, the idea fascinates me. Story 8. I would love being dominated by a woman, maybe forced to f*** her, but hard to find anyone into that. Story 9. Everything. I made the mistake of telling my wife something I wanted to try. The look she gave me, we have never tried it and I'll never ask for anything special again. She made me feel disgusting and three years later, I don't think my confidence has ever returned. Edit. One of my weirder top comments, but you weirdos kinda rock. I've been reading all of your messages all night and I'm gonna ask again. Maybe I caught her on a bad day. Maybe she's thought about and is more willing now. One thing's for sure, I'm done with this hurt. Let's do this. Edit 2. We talked. For hours today. She told me it had also been on the back of her mind since it happened. There was confusion on her end about what exactly I wanted, and she also says she never meant to give me a look, but that's just how it came across at the time. I think we both really needed this talk. We had two kids between then and now, and our communication definitely suffered from it. This was a good talk. She's going to give it a shot. I'm excited but nervous but also so relieved. Thanks for the support of all you strangers. Emma, go wash my ass now. Friends, before we continue our video, I want to remind you of the importance of subscribing to our channel. We are also waiting for your comments and likes. Thank you, let's move on to the video. Story 10, Milf Fetish. I really want to have with an older woman. Story 11, Full Body Massage and Happy Ending. Being a patient and being taken care of by a nurse. Story 12, Role Playing. She's a dirty little Porsche 911 and I'm an overpriced gas pump. First she pulls up, then she says honk honk, open the gas tank, gives me a credit card, and I fill her up. Premium. Story 13. Ick what it's called but have my partner run through the woods while I run after her about 10 seconds later. I eventually catch up to her, tackle her, and primal f All consensual. Story 14. I want to be so badly. Guys, girls, whatever, use my body. The disease thing puts the stop on it for me. Story 15. My partner works out early in the morning. Her post-workout smell is intoxicating to me, so I want her to come home from the gym and wake me up by sitting on my face and <laughs> while I smell and or taste her. Afraid to ask because she's even given me a negative, dismissive reaction when I told her I would like to smell her underwear. Stink to her is pheromones to me, and I don't think she gets that. Story 16. I'd like to be used, like a free use scenario, whenever, wherever, however. Story 17. I found myself getting more adventurous as I get older, but the more my list grows, the more I'm scared to tell my husband. I'm checking women out more. I'd like to have a threesome or be part of an orgy. I'm super into when he bites or scratches me. I want him to talk dirty and collar or leash me. The list goes on. Story 18. Being loved unconditionally sounds pretty hot. Story 19. Having a small audience during s No cheering or touching just some onlookers. Story 20. Partner swapping. I like the idea of it in theory, but at the end of the day, I'm about as average as they come all the way around, and I'd be afraid of my wife enjoying the other more. Plus, you know I am kinda jealous anyways, not in a controlling way, but in a way where I know my wife is a lot hotter than me, and can do much better kinda way. Story 21. 
I don't think I'll ever have the courage to say this out loud. I want to lie down on a woman's lap and suckle milk from her nipples. Extra points if she's giving me a at the same time. Problem is one, it'll probably come off as mommy problems, and two, I don't want to have kids, so finding a lactating woman will be challenging to say the least. Story 22. To sleep with a much older man, like a good 20 to 25 years older. Story 23. I really want to offer my services to couples, but without I'm a rope top and I never get to tie anymore. Would love to be the one to tie a lady for her partner. Story 24. I've always wanted to be put in stocks and used by dozens of men. My problem is one. Terrified of disease and two. I'm a sensitive little b and would probably cry after the third guy. Also, fiancé is a cuck, respectfully, and I've always kind of wanted to cash in on that. He's told me dozens of times he wants to watch him get f by another man. But I know I'd get too self-conscious, and ta -da, I'd want fiancé to join in eventually. Maybe several people too. Just once I want the opportunity to be a dominatrix. I want to step on a man and tie him up, spank him, face f him. Fiance lets me dom, but he likes more of a dom mummy type so I gotta be gentle, which is fine. But I'm not great at topping, need more practice lol. Lastly, f with another woman. I'm so curious but I've got a mental block when it comes to eating someone out. So I don't think any f owning partner I tried it with would be very satisfied. I know a lot of Lou don't like oral anyway, but I feel like if I didn't it wouldn't be the same me no? Sorry the question was to list every fantasy, right? Is my s**tly repressed Catholic upbringing showing? Story 25, a threesome with two guys. This is my biggest fantasy. They cannot do anything with each other. I imagine being teabagged while penetrated at the same time. Honorable mention, I would love to have passionate s with a partner at a s masquerade while others have s**ks around us as well. Story 26. I've always wanted to try doing it with an older, more mature lady than me, like late 40s, but I've always been awkward even with girls my age and even more so older ladies, cause the ones that I do know have always been in positions of power, like a supervisor or teacher, or a relative. So I guess subconsciously my image of older ladies have always been like that. Also, this fantasy is getting gradually less appealing the older I get cause I'm nearing the same age as said ladies lol. Story 27. Wearing a Bluetooth controlled vibrator in public. Have done it in semi-public. Edit. Had this been a week ago, I would have probably said s on her motorcycle. But that wish thankfully got fulfilled. Story 28. Cross-dressing for a man with opportunities to both s and get f Preferably in chastity and being able to finish from him being inside me. I'd also like to have him come in me, but terrified of STDs. I'm about 95% straight and masculine, but that 5%. Oh buddy, I wish hair didn't take time to grow back so presenting as my preferred day-to-day -day self wouldn't be affected by that 5%. I like my beard and body hair when I'm not specifically in the mood for those alternative things. Also been in a relationship for a few years, but I had many years before that where I didn't do it. I'd also love to top a cross-dresser if I weren't in a relationship. These urges aren't helped by her not being able to have for a while, so I've been 100% running off fantasies to get off while she takes care of things. I love her, and her sex problems are being looked at and medically a real issue. It just sucks. Story 29. I've always thought it would be awesome to try tantric It's something that requires patience and trust, but I can only imagine how amazing it would be to experience with the right partner. Story 30. To all the sad boys out there, if your wife or girlfriend doesn't want to do something, and she makes you feel bad about asking, it doesn't mean that there's something wrong with you. Who should you ask? Your neighbor? This is a good note to end on. Please rate your stories in the comments. I'll be happy to add them to future videos. Also, you can rate our other videos. We would be very grateful. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.